This video explains how to construct a triangle in the program Geometer Sketchpad using specific conditions that are given. The first condition that we are provided with is that one angle measures 40 degrees, the second one is that one angle measures 50 degrees, and the third condition is the segment between the two angles measures 9.5 centimeters. To start we're going to select our segment tool which is the fourth button down and I'm going to construct a segment with any two points. And then since we need to find the length of this segment to be 9.5, I'm going to go to measure length and it tells me that it's 11.8. So I'm going to actually click one of my endpoints and I'm going to sh bring it closer so then that way it gets to 9.5. Here we go, 9.5 even. Next we need to create a 40 degree angle, so I'm going to create a point that is somewhere not on my segment, and then I'm going to have this highlighted point and one of my endpoints E, and I'm going to go to construct a line, and now we can measure our angle, and in order to do so we need to highlight our three points with our vertex being in the middle, so I'm going to highlight the new point, and then E, which is where my vertex is, and then F, and go to measure angle. And we have that the measurement of that angle is 58.13, and we need to get it down to 40. So I'm going to actually have to drag G and move it so that it gets to 40 degrees. There we go. Since we need to create another angle that's measuring 50 degrees, I'm going to repeat the steps that we had just completed with the other endpoint. Starting with the creation of a new point that is off of my segment, I'm going to stick it here, and then I'm going to have that point highlighted and my other endpoint, which is F, and I'm going to go to Construct Line, and now we'll end up having our angle with this new point, F and E and we need to measure it to see what the degrees of that angle are. And it's 52.04, so we need to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now that we have our original segment length, which is EF, which is 9.5, and the two angle measurements that satisfy the conditions, we can now complete our triangle by connecting the point of intersection with point F and also with point E to get our new triangle. And what I can do is I can highlight the additional points and lines that were created and go to display, hide objects, or command H or control H, and then we're going to just label the last point that we have here which is point I. I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that you have a great day.